Alright guys, welcome back and in today's video, we're going to be doing checkpoint badges. This video is actually requested by a commenter, so thanks for the suggestion. And what we're going to be doing really is we're going to be giving a player a badge when they hit a certain checkpoint. So guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're in a new place now and what we want to do first because it's a new place, we want to publish to Roblox. So as you can see, it's now in our new game list. And now, we're going to go over to roblox.com. So it's here now, and let's click on the discover page. And now that, we, now that we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on badges. So this will take us to a new Roblox website. And now you'll see your new place here, or whatever your game is. So click on it, and then click on associated items on the left side. Click on create a badge, and you can choose any image you want. I'm gonna go uh, with the screenshot that I have from a while back. And now, let's just call it a uh, first checkpoint. First checkpoint, and the description. Let's just put, congratulations, you reached your first, your first checkpoint. Alright, so now let's click create a badge, or create badge. Alright, so it's loading. And now, click on your badge again. And now, like our last badge video, we have to click on the second ID. Now, like I explained last time, the reason we click on the second ID and not the first one is because the first ID is, in fact, your experience ID. The second ID is your badge ID. So now, let's go back into Roblox Studio. And now what we want to do first is create our checkpoint. So I have a part here and I'm going to move it not so far away from spawn for testing reasons. But yeah, let's just put it about here and let's color it green. All right, so we got that now. So uh, let's first name it checkpoint. Checkpoint. Now let's add in a script, All right? Script. Alright, delete the hello world. Uh, okay. So now what we want to do first is do script dot parent dot touched and do in touched colon connect function. Now uh, we're gonna put other part as the parameter and now click enter. So the first few variables that we want is obviously the first one will be badge service so local badge service equals the game colon get service badge service second one being the badge id so local badge id equals to and just paste in your badge id the third one being the player so local players equals the game colon get service players so now what we want to do is to make sure that the part that's touching it has a human one basically so to make sure it's the character of the player not like for example the base player because automatically it'll start touching the base plate because of how it's positioned right now. So yeah. So we're gonna do if other part dot parent colon find first child humanoid. Make sure you type that in correctly and no typos. So now once you got that, we're gonna put space then and enter. So now what we want to do is if and then badge service colon. Actually guys, before that, let's get the player. So, local player equals to players, colon, get player from character, and we're going to do other part dot parent. So, what this does is, it will use the player character or the model to use the name on it and try and find the player in the player section over here. So yeah, once it finds the player, it'll, uh, this value will basically be the player. And that'll allow us to do whatever we want with it. So now after that, we're gonna do if uh, if badge service colon user has badge sync. I'm gonna get the badge the player ID user ID so player dot user ID comma badge ID. All right. So then put equal equals to true. Then we're gonna do return. Uh, player has badge and then we're, we're gonna enter again backspace else 
and chicken. And now, badge service colon award badge. So the badge will have a player ID, player, player, um, dot user ID, comma badge ID. All right, so we got that now. And now let's test it to see if it works. All right, guys. So it's currently applying the edits, and now we're loading into the game. So yeah. Also, guys, I just want to say thank you for 100 subscribers, and I'll be doing the giveaway of 100 Robux really soon. So make sure you join the Discord server in the link in the description. All right, so let's test it. So we've touched it, and as you can see, we've gotten the badge now, and yeah, so let's wait for it to disappear, and yeah, as you can see, it's not giving us the badge multiple times. So, now, let's go into Roblox.com and check if that works. So, in fact, uh, let me go to hmm, Roblox.com slash... Um, Discovery, yeah, keep over here. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're back in Roblox.com, and now we're gonna check my profile and see if I have it there. So. Loading right now, it's going to take a while to load. Alright, so it's loaded, and now let's check it out. And there you go, you can see that we now have the badge, and we are currently the only one that has it. Now guys, I get this question a lot in the comments. People asking me about how to change the badge rarity. So that you can't actually change, as you can see, you can't change it, it's determined on how many players actually get it. So for example, if a million players play your game, or 100,000 players play your game, but only like say uh, 10,000 get it, then it'll say only about maybe 10% of players? Yeah, about 10%, so maybe insane or extreme. So you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.